Sometimes making a color pop effect can be a fun way of reinventing your image, and I do it from time to time. Today, we're going to take a look at how you can do this inside of On One Photo Raw fairly quick and fairly easy. So here we are with a photo, and I'm already on the effects module. Now, I've already done some snapshots, but I'm just going to show you how to create it from scratch on your own. I'm going to hit add filter. And the very first filter we're going to add is the black and white filter. This is going to take all of the color out of the image. And now all we have to do is mask the color back in. If you have on one photo raw 2023, this is actually pretty easy. You hit the mask icon here and then you hit the drop down. And for this particular photo, the transport makes a really good selection. And don't worry if you don't have on one photo raw 2023 or you didn't get a good selection with the quick mask or the AI selection, I'm going to show you how to manually mask this stuff in. So we'll hit apply. Now that we have our car completely masked, you can see on one did a really good job at making this color pop effect. And there's a few issues around the side here. So all we would have to do is change this to paint out and then just paint around the edge. Now I will note we're using a brush of a hundred percent feather, 100% opacity and 100% flow. Now you want to make your brush uh, as you get closer to the edges a little bit smaller so that way you are actually painting around that edge and not going too far into the rest of the image. Now I'm not zoomed in here. You should absolutely zoom in. Uh, I've been doing this for a little while so I can kind of just see where that contrast line is and I'm also okay with that without zooming in. Uh, because if I were to print this or share this on social, no one's really looking at my photos that hard. And if they were, then, you know, uh, they'll just notice that there's an edge. Now that I have, and I'll just go ahead and paint over this light cap. Now that I have my photo ready to go, it's good, right? And we'll go ahead and put this back to fit and I'm good to go now. If you look inside of the window here, you can see that there's still some green there and that's because the car is selected. If I hit O, you can see that the mask for the car is still selected. If I hit O again, then uh, I'm back to the original look. The problem here, if I were to just mask this out simply, right? So I can just hit shift plus to mask in. If I start to mask this out, look at what it does to the the reflection of this particular image. So you want to pay attention to what is happening in your photo before you do anything else. So I'm just going to hit command Z and undo that. But the way that I would fix this is actually really easy. I'm going to hit add filter and we're going to add a color enhancer. And then all I'm going to do is come over here to the yellows and I'm going to pull those down to uh, desaturate them and I'm going to come to the greens and I'm going to do the exact same thing. And as you can see, that pulls out all of the yellow and green in your image, which is what mostly makes up trees and foliage. So you now have a desaturated image and I didn't have to mask that out. So that is the AI quick mask method. Now let's go ahead and reset this and we're going to go into a different method. All right. So we're just going to reset all start over from scratch. And this time we're going to pretend we don't have AI masking inside of our program. And that really just means on one photo raw 2022 and earlier, I'm going to hit the uh, black and white filter. So now that we have the black and white filter applied, now all we have to do is mask in our effect. So with a brush and right now it's set to paint in, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, go to paint out and I'm just going to start painting away this effect. And as you can see, I'm making very broad strokes. Uh, when you first start, you can start with a large brush, especially if your object is pretty large and then just resize as you need. And I am using my Toolbox Neo to help me resize the brush as I go along. You could do the same thing with a Wacom tablet. Uh, if you have the controls there or not, but if you don't, it's okay. You can use the uh, bracket keys on your keyboard. And if you have to stop, which I recommend you do from time to time, and this just helps you 
make sure that you're painting in the right areas. And with this method, you're not going to get a perfect paint job, and that's okay. Because what you're going to be able to do is clean it up afterwards anyhow. Let me show you why you want to brush with 100% feather. If I pull down my feather, and I'll pull it to about 50%. If you look at the inner ring there, that is where the effect is 100%. If I didn't have this feather, you see how it's starting to paint in over that stone building? I don't want that. I want a very gradual fade as I'm painting in, especially as I'm masking on the edges. All right, so we're gonna undo that and we are going to put this back up to 100%. And so now when I make a smaller brush, that fade is just barely going over the edge and it's almost undetectable. I recommend painting in on this particular image. If, if you go and download this image from Unsplash and follow along, I definitely recommend you paint over the window there. And that's just because there's a glare here and it's a part of the image. So if you have that in your image uh, that you're editing, then consider that. We have the car color popped in. If I hit the O key, you can see I did a fantastic paint job. Uh, not really, but it's okay. What's this area? Yeah, that's this. So always check your mask and a uh, quick tip for you. If you come over here and my view modes, you see I have red overlay with the option O and then the grayscale with the, uh, oh, I'm sorry, the red overlay with control O and the grayscale with option O. Now, I am aware that the option key is not available on the Windows version. So what I would recommend you do is you do Alt Shift O as your keyboard shortcut. And you can set that up if you come over here to edit and then keyboard shortcuts. And then you type in overlay. And you can see underneath menu, mask, and then view mode, I have the red overlay. I've added in the control O keyboard shortcut. In order for you to change yours to the, uh, the keyboard shortcut if you're on a Windows machine, try using Alt, Shift, and O for your keyboard shortcut because I know that the control key is the uh, equivalent to the command key and then there's the option key. So play around with it, make it whatever works for you. But the reason why I bring that up, if I hit the letter O, if I hit control O, you can see I get my red overlay. This shows me on top of the image where I have the effect. And so now I can just kind of paint this in and say, oh yeah, I've really missed all of this. And this is just a really quick way of seeing what you missed. So that way you can go back and clean up your image, make it look really good and you know work out. Now, as you can see, I also went over the edges here. So what I can do is hit shift X and then I can just come around here and clean this up. So that way, if this was a different color, I can see that. And you know, this is just one of those things you want to do if you want to be a perfectionist. Now for the sake of time on YouTube, I am not going to be a perfectionist, but just showing you that this can work and how your effect goes, hit the letter O to get rid of your mask. And now we just have to get rid of that green in the background. And that's no different than hitting the add filter color enhancer, and then coming to the yellows and desaturating, and then coming into the greens and also desaturating. And now we have a final product. So if you found value in today's content, smash the like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing. My name's Chris and I make content centered around photo editing inside of software like On One Photo Raw. If that's something you're into, then join the channel. If you want to really connect with me, go to freewillphotos.com and sign up to be a free member. I got some things rolling out on the website here in the near future. So I look forward to seeing you guys there. And until the next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.